There certainly are a lot of awesome smartphones to choose from in 2016, but sometimes it's good to look at ones that aren't made by the big name manufacturers and get a phone that not everyone else owns. One such choice could be the Nubia Z11. Nubia has traditionally sold its devices only in China, but we've admired them from afar for a while, so we're excited to hear the Z11 would be the first phone the company would sell internationally. Nubia is an established brand, and has the might of parent company ZTE behind it, so it's not like considering an absolute no-name device. But should you buy one? Aside from Nubia's fanfare about an international launch, you're going to have to put in some effort to get one, so we've spent a week with it to find out if it stands up against the many other phones out there today that we love. The new Bia Z11 turns heads. Not just a sideways glance, either. We're talking full, exorcist-style 360-degree swivels. It's a really super-looking phone, and has a screen that will have everyone who looks at it drooling with envy. If you think Samsung's Galaxy S7 Edge looks futuristic, then you'll love the Z11's Edge 2 Edge display. Bezels? Forget them, because it doesn't look like the Z11 actually has any. The screen goes right up to the edge of the phone. It doesn't drop over the edge like the Galaxy S7 Edge, but reaches an abrupt stop at the side. It's a different look from the S7 Edge, but with similar benefits, pictures and video take up the majority of the front panel, with no wasted areas to the side. It's covered in a 2.5D curved piece of glass, which bends ever so slightly over the sides, merging comfortably with the aluminum body shell. There's an IPS LCD panel under that glass, with a 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution, which puts it at a specification disadvantage compared to some of its direct rivals. It's incredibly bright, however, and although the black levels can't quite match those produced by mold panels on the Axon 7 and S7 Edge, the screen is pleasant to look at, and video looks beautiful. The 5.5-inch size means pixel density is lower than the competition as well. All of this means images won't reveal as much detail as they will on other phones. Despite being 7.5 mm thick and 162 grams in weight, the Z11 feels very solid in the hand. While some phones are deceptively light, the Z11 manages to be deceptively heavy. The ZTE Axon 7 is thicker and heavier, for example, but feels more comfortable and compact in your hand, which comes down to its clever use of curves on the body. The Z11 is slab-like in its design, but the minimalist approach and that border-loose screen still make it look good. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more gadget info and give me feedback on the comments.